Hello Scorpio and a very warm welcome to your March 2019 horoscope. This is a very big month. Uranus will finally go into Taurus this month, opposing your natal sun sign until 2025. So these are going to be big years coming up for you. And always when the planet makes the transition is when it's at its most powerful. So there's going to be a big forward momentum for you. And on that same day, Mercury is going retrograde. So you may feel this pull between being pulled into the past, sucked into the vortex of old ways of doing things, and then this catapult behind you, pushing you into a different and better and awakened future for yourself. It's powerful stuff. You love power. You love intensity, don't you, Scorpios? So let me break the month down for you. On the second, we've got Venus coming into your fourth house. Venus here encourages you to, to do something nice in your home, to beautify it in some way, to maybe have people round, to do something that just makes your environment softer and more comfortable and more luxurious. There could also be some good news about a family member. On the 6th of the month, that's the big day, Mercury going retrograde in your fifth house and Uranus finally coming and joining Mars for this month in your relationship house. So it's romance, relationships, pleasure, all kinds of things getting triggered this month. So this Mercury retrograde in your fifth is asking you to reflect, have you always wanted to be self-employed? Have you always wanted to create a passive income for yourself? Well, now's the time to really think about those ideas that you've got. And when Mercury goes direct towards the end of this month, you may be ready to implement them and to do something about them. It's a good time to reflect upon pleasure. Have you got enough of it in your life? You're doing enough of the things that you love. Because this is the house of romance and the house of enjoyment. So this is really encouraging you to find more joy in everything that you do. Uranus into this seventh house of relationship joining Mars. Well, could be a few fireworks this month with your relationships. I would suggest going slowly with these aspects if you can. Not making quick decisions. Not speaking out of an emotional place. Waiting if you can until after things have settled a little and you've got a different perspective. There's an opportunity for a lot of breakthroughs in relationships. Lots and lots and lots of breakthroughs, changes, bringing some fresh air. So anything that's felt restricted, confining in a relationship is going to break out. You might find yourself in a long distance relationship. You might find yourself letting go of a relationship altogether and then finding it rebounds back to you and then off it goes and rebounding. So it's going to be just a lot of potential turbulence but an opportunity for you to renew and to become more conscious and aware in your relationships and therefore bring more pleasure into this life area. On the 8th of the month, I've got a new moon happening in this fifth house. New beginnings. Could be a new beginning with a child, a young person, a new beginning with your inner child. It's great for your creativity, for turning a hobby into a business. This is just a very uplifting energy. And the way for you to really work with that is to really every day be thankful for at least five things. You'll notice your life transform. On the 20th of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in your 12th house. And on the 21st, a, the sun moving into your sixth. So this 12th and sixth house um, accentuated as we move towards the end of the month. This is shining a light on your inner journey. Very important to get quiet time, to be peaceful. And at the same time, a new beginning possibly with your work area. And as you bring yourself into a mental and emotional peaceful state, your physical health, sixth house, can come alive again. You can heal things more easily. 
Because very often physical things, other than an injury when you've, you know, banged yourself or had an accident, most physical things come from the emotional and mental level. So there's an opportunity for great healing this month in that area for you. It would be a good time for counselling, for past life regression, dream work, journaling, writing. All these things would be very positive at this time. On the 27th, Venus joining the party in the fifth house. And this could bring you a new romance. And Mercury goes direct on the 29th, so all stations go by the 29th of the month. I hope you've enjoyed your forecast. Thank you for liking it, commenting, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.